Today it's a beautiful sunny day. It's eight in the morning and we're ready for the day. So we're gonna catch a bus and head on over to the crater. All signs point to Lauderdale. All right, so we have arrived at Sengumbury Crater. After two long hours of travel, we finally have freaking arrived. It's really weird taking the bus throughout like mountains and really thickly wooded forest areas because normally we're used to riding the buses through the city with tons of skyscrapers. Yeah. And it just feels really out of place. Yeah, and plus we don't do that in the States, especially in the mountains. You'd never have a bus take you. It's so weird. We're about to go piss in this Castle. stone house. They're doing the pee dance. Wow, it's actually much bigger than I thought. Where's the crater at? Take the right fork. I don't see any forks here. All I see are sidewalks. Oh man, you can stand under my umbrella. Plus equals love. Couldn't have said it better myself. This is one of the most beautiful places I think I've ever been. So we're walking through this beautiful stone park and there's nobody here and it's actually really nice. I figured there'd be a lot of tourists because it's beginning August, end of July. <laughs> He's flying from the... Every corner we turn, it just gets more beautiful. For good back. luck. Back. Oh God. Okay, so don't say that shit. Now I'm scared. This is the Silver Grass Trail. Views for days. Oh, ever. The best view with the bug around his head. I'll kill that son of a bitch. All right, moment of truth. We're walking up to it. Damn. She a big hole. Oh, you can't see it super well from here. We're going to go up there so you can see it better. Damn. So that's the bottom. That's from a volcano. Big old rock. So I'm standing here observing this beautiful crater and I just got fucking stung by the bug that was chasing David somewhere underneath here. Thankfully I'm not allergic, but it fucking hurt and it's all David's fault because he kept hitting it and running away from it, triggering it. So we're still getting fucking chased. I'm getting chased by like 12 more fucking bees. This place is beautiful, but now I just want to run and fucking hide because I already got bit once. Leave them, me alone! Them Asia bees hit different. It looks like the sun's not hitting it, but it's actually just a big hole. That's what she said! <laughs> it's skewing my perception. We're just a swing and it's so pretty here. We're trying to avoid all the bugs. Just taking tons of photos. You already yeah. know the photo ops are all over the place here. <laughs> If you haven't already, our Instagram is misadventures underscore, so if you haven't already, check that out. That's where you see the good pic. We're not sure what those are, but David thinks they're burial mounds, and I think he might be right. Fir tree. Not strong enough for Christmas decorations, though. Really? So beautiful. I know I say that every second, but it is. Hopefully you can see it, but it's nice and shady. Kind of paved, it's paved with like this, um, the lava rocks. Like they're very porousy and like kind of hard to walk on. Green fir trees are a great source of turpin, which is a major substance of phytoncide. Phytoncide is the most beneficial natural remedy for stress, strengthening the immune system, and cardiopulmonary functions. Wow, I definitely needed to come here then. <laughs> Stress the fuck out. How do you feel now? I feel zen, I feel beautiful, I feel like I'm ready to eat some ramen. Here's Johnny. Okay, we're leaving the crater park and now we're going to that infamous stone park, the little sculpture guys I'm sure you've seen everywhere. We're gonna go see that and we'll show you when we get there. Look at the horse. We accidentally got off on the wrong bus stop, so now we're just walking on the side of the highway. No big deal. Okay, we have arrived, but there's absolutely nobody here. If it's closed, I swear to God, dude, I'm sneaking in. We found a speedy trail to the ticket office instead of walking through the 20 parking lots. Recording bamboo is only a thing that Americans would do, but it's so cool. We found sunflowers. You want a sunflower? I think your love will be too much. All right, we are inside of the Jeju Stone Park now. We got a map in English and the fucking crickets are loud as hell. Yeah, we were just at a cafe and we got a nice mandarin and green tea mixture and the sunflowers were super beautiful. And now we're gonna check out this park and show you some of the highlights. Artiste. Okay, we found a stone museum. So we're gonna enter the stone museum, I guess. Ooh, anyone that knows me knows I love a good rock. These were at the other park. They're lava tree molds in that big mountain in the middle. 
That's what we're hiking. These are so cool. There's the unicorn. That's where David crawled out of. Damn straight. I'm hungry. 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 Okay, dude, be honest. Why do you look just like them? Bruh, why you doing me like that? Oh, those are stone mortars. Those are massive. And they just said any stone that has a hole, it's a mortar. Maybe that's actually the definition. I don't know. Maybe that's my own ignorance. Look how cool the inside of these houses are though. They're made out of dried mud. So neat. Here's some tombs. They're absolutely beautiful. We found some guys. Looks like Satan moss or something. All right, this dude is me. Always fucking pissed. Oh, that's so cool. I wonder if it was actually set up like this or they moved it here. It's very cool. It's David and I, fat and ugly. Just kidding, you're perfect. What's a vegan gotta do around here to get a bite to eat? All right. Okay, these ones are really close, so I'm gonna touch it. If you have trypophobia, don't watch. All right, so we just walked through the area that had all the little mini stone statues. Mm -hmm. And now we're gonna go take a look at some of the bigger ones. Right behind us are the traditional Jeju thatch roof houses. So it's pretty cool. That mountain view hit. And behind us here, we have the older big sculpture thing before makeup. And these are the new ones. With makeup. They did not. Mother slipped into soup. They, they were hungry. They ate the soup. Oh no. Uh, the young is too sad. Last to come there for, he stole the soup. He found the bone. He, uh, the, the bone was uh, his, mo his mother's bone. He was crying, crying for his mother's dead. And he reproached his brothers. It's because his brothers ate the soup. Oh no! All right, so I only got half because I didn't realize I wasn't filming, but she came up to us and asked us if she could tell us the history. Yeah, we got a whole folklore history lesson about the formation of an island to the west of Jeju. Yeah, so apparently these stone men were formed, well, originally for protection, but then all the generals be became stone men because they ate their mother's dead body in soup. And they were mourning and they're like, ah, this is terrible. So they became stone. And one of the sons apparently ran so far away that when he turned into stone, he became an island. Yeah. Right to the west of Jeju. I mean, I love that folklore. That's awesome. Go Korea. And shout out that woman. Yeah, know? she's so nice. She came up to us and asked if she could tell us. I was like, yeah, of yeah, course. Yeah, we're looking to hear some yeah. history. Time for the gallery now. Okay, so there's a random fashion museum. Okay, that's just a straight jacket. Tell me it's not. Okay, that's a rug, but it's so cute. It's leg doctor. Pretty fitting. Jip too hot, don't stand too cold. You gonna fuck around and drown. I hate it. Makes me throw up. David said that's cool, but I think it's fucking creepy. I know it's just looks like, like uh, Harry Potter. They're just vegetables. Yeah, they look like the uh, mandrake. Yeah. Shoes, shoes, shoes. Where'd you get them shoes? This Dude, one. I love the mini backpack. I like this one. Soda and smoothie. I, this one is so nice. This is definitely the nicest one. It actually feels like a mall instead of like old stuff that is just on sale. I love that. And that's your color. All right, we're in the market and David does not want anything. Even though he keeps picking out so much stuff. He's like, no, it's $10. I don't want to. I can't want spend to. any money. It I'm is, a cheapskate. This area is very nice. No, we're not used to that. Let's see if we can find deodorant that isn't 20,000 won. Not horrible, but we've seen better. Shrek it to him. 
price tag though. Oh, hello there! Okay, we ended up buying these little cute face masks that come in this weird container. We got a potato face mask. We got a strawberry jam. The lady actually, I think she was Filipino. She yeah, spoke great really English. Really good English. I was sitting there looking at them. I'm like, a potato? What is that? And then she answers. And yeah. I was so surprised because I was just talking to David. We found food, but we probably can't eat any of it. I bet Americans cannot name this fruit. Leave a comment if you know this fruit and you're American. Lemonade. I nice mask on your head. That was me cutting you so Oh, fast. wow. Yeah. Butter. We love a stand. Yeah, it is. Jalapeno. I coconut chicken ball. That's not creepy at all. I I don't know what it is. Look, it's right here. So we popped out at the underground shopping mall, and boom, we're right here inside the market that we were trying to visit last night. But now it's actually during the day, and it's very lively. Everything with Mandarin. All right, what's going on around here? Oh shit, we're lit. She's just vibing. Oh, there's another one. Are they copying them or is it the same one? Everyone just uses flames here, but he's not as hype. <laughs> that guy just like, what up, bro? Like, yes. Oh, there's a cat. Hi. Hey, baby. Hi, small. Oh, is he eating? Someone gave him chicken? Yeah. Oh, he looks like he's well fed. I really, really, really want that. Getting the makoli. Okay, I think I might have to buy it. Should we do it to him? So we got a couple more souvenirs, obviously. Yeah, I had to get the scrunchie. And then we finally decided, we've been seeing it everywhere, to get some of this halibong juice. I'm gonna see how similar it is to orange juice. Probably sweeter. Yeah. All right, we found some more safe. We're gonna give it a go. It is sweeter than orange juice. It's like creamier, I can't, I can't yeah. feel it. They're filming something here. They're all wearing Jeju stuff and clear mask, and they have cameras. I'm filming a guy filming. Literally, I don't think I've ever seen this much orange. Fits the sunset though. Nobody's eating because they're all eating at the street market. <laughs> look, it's the Washington Monument, as David said five seconds ago. Dude, look how many there are. No matter where we go, we gotta go to the Asia Mart, or as this is called, World Food. David gotta get his snack in. Vegan traveling tip, get these. You just hydrate them in water. Add some salt or anything in the water and it flavors it and they're super filling and they're super high in protein. That guy's so happy to be holding that. Look yeah. at his face. He's hype as fuck. He's like, look, I'm in the middle, mom. The boy's just vibing, drinking soju, doing, yep. Oh, Marcoli, actually. Well, we discovered why nobody shops here. All you gotta say in Korea. No drinking? Oh, really, huh? We have this vegan restaurant we've been planning on going to, but they close early, but we're near it, so we decided to walk to it, and I'm pretty sure they're open. Hi! Oh, you want your bed? Oh, oh, he's miss is he missing an eye too? Okay, so that was super weird. We went up to it, and like, we were signing in, and you saw the beautiful cat, oh my God. But the lady came up to us, and they're clearly like a restaurant, and we're like, uh, vegan? And yeah. she's like, uh, close at 3 p.m. So they share a restaurant with another place that's not vegan. That's kind of sketchy to me. Pretty weird. And then tomorrow we're planning on going there before we hike Halasan, but she said they don't open till nine. And we want to be at the mountain at nine so we can have an early ah. start. Good thing we came and checked though, because that would have been really frustrating going there yeah. before and they were closed. Welcome to Pork Street. So this morning we actually met a nice guy. His name is Maddie. He's from India. Shout out Maddie if you're Shout watching. Shout out. And he's uh, an electric engineer just like David. And we actually on our way back, we ran into him again. He was riding the same bus as us, so that was crazy. So we talked to him for a while. And now we're going to go watch the sunset. We're gonna go get some snacks, maybe some alcohol. And then I think that'll be our day. Yeah, we're gonna pack it in a little early tonight so we can get ready for our big hike in the morning. So we just got back to our hotel and the lady informed us that she actually gave us the wrong room and that we have to switch to a different room tonight. Yay. I think she accidentally gave us the ocean view and now we're gonna go to the other side and get the yeah. mountain view. At least we get a change of scenery. I guess so. Look how beautiful, new spot, but same beauty. All right, we gotta do it to him. We got our cute new halibong shot glass here, so I'll pour you a shot of makgoli. Halibong makgoli. It's so small. It's not an actual shot glass. This is like one third or one fourth yeah. the size of actual shot glass. It's okay. It tastes like it has some citrus. Is it kind of citrusy? Yeah, but it's still not goalie, which 
All right, guys, we're gonna stay here. We're gonna take a few more shots of our Mongoli and enjoy this beautiful sunset. If you liked the video, please don't forget to go down, drop us a like, hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell so you can catch the rest of our vlogs while we're here in Jeju. And if you haven't, pet a cat today. Bye. Aw, baby. Skipping rocks. Oh, it works. Good job. High five.